In this video, we'll look at the G major 7th chord in the open position. Here are chord charts which show two variations of the G major 7th chord in the open position. The numbers in the circles indicate the fingers used to make the chord shape. The open circles above the strings indicate that those strings are struck open with no fingers touching them. An X on a string indicates that that string is not to be struck. These chords both have optional notes that can be added to change the shape. The chord chart on the left has an optional B note that can be added on the fifth string, and the chord chart on the right has a B note that can be added on the third string. To make the first version of the G major seventh chord in the open position, place your first finger on the first string of the second fret, and your second finger on the sixth string of the third fret. Tip this, that second finger so that it just touches the fifth string and mutes it. So you should hear nothing on that fifth string. Now just strum through all six strings. You can add a B bass note to the chord by moving your second finger to the fifth string of the second fret and placing your third finger now on the sixth string of the third fret. Now just strum through all six strings. the second version of the G major 7th chord in the open position, place your first finger on the first string of the second fret, your second finger on the sixth string of the third fret, and your third finger on the second string of the third fret. Your second finger will again be positioned so that it mutes that fifth string so no sound comes out. Now just strum through all six strings. You can add a B note to the chord by placing your fourth finger on the third string of the fourth fret. 